Welcome to Sarajevo, the capital of Bosnia. This looks completely like Istanbul. Sorry. This is amazing. Slavic Turks. That is gonna be amazing. Last iftar. Last iftar. Can you imagine that? That's incredible. We're in the largest mosque of Sarajevo, which is Jamla Kali Fat Abdul something. Check it out. It's in the basically apartment building blocks. This is how it works. Everybody's used to it, so you get some dates and you get some water and the lemonade on the house plus a bread. The bread? You can, you can eat the bread with the yogurt, cheese, and so it's very nice. We just broke the fast. The guy up to Sarajevo, he's shooting a cannon so that you can hear it's over and you can start eating and drinking inshallah so right now we're we've ordered some good food and uh yeah bosnian cuisine is good subhanallah <laughs> but yeah iftar is very like part of culture everybody knows what iftar menu is and usually it's booked out so you gotta be this restaurant is not in the center so we're kind of lucky it's free Different types of meat and salad. All halal, of course. So, pretty good. This looks nice. Takwala, nature, bombitsa. Let's go. What's up, guys? It's Eid, 6 a.m. People are wearing suits. Unfortunately, I don't have a suit, but it's power. I have a hat, I have a shirt, nice shirt. Let's see if this works. It is over. Everybody's eating, having a good time. Uh, just saw some Arabs with the toes. So, first lunch after some time. And uh, yeah, it's exciting. Last hour, last day, Sarajevo. It was amazing. Time to say goodbye to the mosque. I just prayed. Asr? No, it was Dura. And uh, yeah, we're going on a road trip to a village somewhere in the mountains. So. SubhanAllah, it's gonna be good. Yeah, I'm gonna miss Sarajevo. SubhanAllah, it's been eight days here. You know? 
quite a while. We've got Adan, so it's Maghrib time. You can hear Adan's everywhere. Perfect. We're inside Vrelo Bosne and it's where the river Bosna should originate. So like a famous, let's say natural park here. I really advise you to come here. You can do it with a car easily because they have good roads. It's very nice. What's, can we swim in the river? Maybe. Look at this water. Pretty nice. Everybody welcome to Severzo's house, which is now a museum. It's an Ottoman style house built in Bosnia, occupied by not occupied but owned by Sverzo's family who were merchants here. So we're gonna have a look how a typical Bosnian house looked like with Turkish influence. This is a balcony where you can see the mountains of Sarajevo and a terrace. And people are kind of living here, chilling out, subhanAllah and making voodoo in that place look i guess this is a room to read the quran because this is tasbih mm -hmm. and the quran this is where the males would receive guests and talk about business and it was used to roast coffee beans and prepare beverages all right okay so the ulama wanted to separate from the ottoman empire and they were coming to the house to discuss important business meetings Look, this is exactly the type of room I want in my house. All these things, it's perfect to sit on. Like, I love this. Can you imagine just 300 years ago, like people were hanging out here, reading the Quran, having some guns, making some tea or something. <laughs> so this is for toilet. Oh, pretty cool. Let's go. People are doing their business here. It's another place for voodoo here, I think. Here we have a balcony overlooking the yard. Let's check the bedroom. Nice. Really nice bedroom. So people would sleep over here. Look, these, these things can be like 300 years old, you think so? It's crazy. This is exactly what I want in my house, this type of couch. Teachers come to the home where girls were gather, attended Quran school and primary school, Rujia. Nice, like, check, every room has a oven, so each room would be very warm, actually. Look at the door, I mean, the door is pretty cool as well. So, you can check people in Muslim countries, they sit around and they eat on the floor, they would get like a spoon, pretty cool stuff. SubhanAllah, shower, look at this. They would put water here, heat it here, probably, and then just put it here as, as a shower. What an advancement, SubhanAllah. These people are backwards. I don't think so. They were pretty advanced. Doing wudu. So Muslim women couldn't meet with, appear in the presence of strange men without the proper clothing. So food was prepared in the kitchen and served from the hatch here. Subhanallah, what a proper sharia. So these two families, Blodna and Sverzo, would meet here for Eid, for Iftar, for f weddings, and they would celebrate the birthday of Prophet Muhammad. I don't think that's appropriate, but you know, this is Bosnia. Look at the door. Subhanallah. This is pretty, pretty big room. Like this must have been such a cool place. Imagine like 20 people sitting here, chatting it up doing iftar. So Sverzo's house, very cool place, visit it, one euro fifty only to, to enter, so very cheap and uh, yeah, it's really nice. Everybody, so today we're in Visoko. <laughs> Ladies, she's selling something there, but she's also hustling. I mean, she looked like, I don't know, she said she's Bosniak, she showed us like ID. I mean, I guess she survived some genocide or something. I don't know. Look at this. 
Subhanallah. Bravo. Wow. I think here in Visoko a lot of people died. It was in the museum. That's the pyramid, guys. We've made it. Visoko, which means high in Slovak and in Bosnian, I guess. We are on top of the pyramid. So called pyramid. I mean, it looks like pyramid from the outside. You can see the picture here, but I don't think it's a pyramid. I think it's, it's just some geech. But it's beautiful here. We've made it on top of the pyramid. This is the town Visoko. Really nice. Check it out. The views are pretty cool. We're going on the cable cars. Let's see. My wife is scared. Woo! of the hill. The whole city is so strange like I wasn't able to drive up because the streets are so narrow and I'm scared and I'm gonna die. We took a cable car because driving is crazy. You can see the mountains is like 1500 meters. Pretty big. If you didn't know but in Sarajevo there were Olympic Games in 1984. This is all that's left. The bobsledge. Broken down. Mr. Broken Memory. <laughs> 